Hey, eaglers. We are you looking at that massive picture of, what, what is that? It's like a, a robot with a head that's out of signal and a lot of people were looking at it. I don't know, I'm sure it's very profound. How are you? They have a lot of pictures on the buildings in Estepona. It's quite a noisy street actually, probably not the best place to record, but hey, we're recording now, so let's go for it. So yeah, today I want to talk about hosting. Boo, boo, boring, boring. Yeah, I know it's boring, but it's important that you get your hosting right. Because if you want a website, you need hosting. That's what keeps it on the internet, keeps it going, keeps it live. So yeah, I thought I'd quickly do a little, little video on hosting. Because I've been with many a hosting company. I've recommended a few of them. Companies like Hostgator, like SiteGround, like TSO Host, loved all those companies. I say loved, because you can fall out of love with hosting companies because they change, you know, you start the relationship off, it's going pretty well, they offer a fantastic service, super fast uh, loading speeds and server speeds and all that stuff. Great technical support and uh, it's bliss. It's bliss, you're in heaven. Hosting is sorted. You know, you pay a reasonable price and you get a fantastic service, it's all good. But then, over time, things start to change. You know, the hosting company gets bigger, they get more popular, they get more customers, mainly because you've been recommending them because they've been giving you such a fantastic service. They get bigger and bigger and bigger, they take on more staff, maybe they get bought out by another big company. That's when things start to change server speeds start to degrade, technical support, they take longer to answer your questions and they're just not as helpful as they once were. And before you know it, you're stuck with a useless hosted company that doesn't care about you, your website's running really slow, they never answer your questions and it's just, yeah, it's time to move on, time to find someone else. And I think that's the key with hosting companies. You've got to keep moving on. You've got to keep it fresh. So, uh, because they change, as I say, they start off well, but they just get too big, and when they get too big, the service goes downhill. So, nowadays, I use, you know who I use, don't you? <laughs> I use Phil over at Spiderweb. You know Phil. He's the main developer of Popcorn Theme, the theme that uh, myself and Carl and, and Phil worked on together. He does all the techie stuff. He's really good at techie stuff. But yeah, he has a company called Spiderweb. They're still a boutique hosting company. They're still uh, fairly small in the grand scheme of things. And they still offer fantastic speeds and excellent service. And in fact, Phil hosts over 30 websites for me at the moment. They're not all mine, some of them are clients and stuff, but yeah, Phil is fantastic because if you ever have a problem, you just drop him an email, he sorts you out. If you need anything, drop him an email, he sorts you out. So yeah, I just wanted to, that's what I wanted to say really. <laughs> If you've been with your hosting company too long, maybe it's time to switch. I mean, I did used to love SiteGround, HostGator and TSO Host. They were all fantastic, but now they're not. So if you're with one of them, I strongly suggest you move. Uh, and if you fancy getting in the Spiderweb Club, well, I've actually got a discount voucher that Phil has kindly let me share with you guys. If you head over to spiderweb.net, I'll put a link up now, and use the code EAGLE10, you'll get a discount. And yeah, that hosting that he's offering over at spiderweb.net is specifically for affiliate marketeers like you. Marketers? Marketeers? I don't know, whatever. Yeah, specifically for people like you. Really good um, service, really fast, really friendly, really helpful, just what you need. Uh, and hopefully, Phil won't get too big <laughs> anytime soon where he has to take on like staff or gets bought out by a big company and it all starts going wrong. I'm sure that's a little way off. No offense, Phil. Well, I really do hope you grow into a really successful company, but at the moment he's at that perfect stage where he's small, uh, responsive, and uh, offers a fantastic service. So go check Phil out if you haven't done so already. So yeah, that's today's video. I'm gonna be streaming later today. Uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow with Niche Website Builders, and on Thursday we'll be doing the Hangout stream, so I hope you can make it. But I need to get off this really busy road. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, well, if not, it's all been an entire waste of time. Fingers crossed it's okay. Anyway, yeah, 
good luck with your websites and until next time bye for now